Hello human fans! In this video, Alexa Carlyle is eliminated using the fiber wire. We thus complete the challenge, Piano Man. I'll also show you how to complete Justice for a Prize, Don't Kill the Messenger, Voyeurism and The Last Responder. Let's proceed. First, I am going to get rid of the detective summoned by Alexa to investigate her younger brother's death. Why? If we let Phineas Whitmer inside the house, Alexa will break her routine to talk to him. That will take several minutes, and during that time, we'll be forced to wait. To avoid waiting, we're going to dispose of Mr. Whitmer before he reaches the house. This way, Alexa will follow her routine undisturbed. Getting rid of the detective is not necessary. You may skip this step if you find it too difficult. Hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Don't impersonate Mr. Whitmer. If 47 goes inside the house dressed like the detective, Alexa will automatically go to the foyer. That's what we're trying to avoid, remember? Now follow me. We go inside the mansion. Oh, by the way, I told Kate about this text. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she just thanked me that she understood the position I was in. She had a really good talk about it. Oh, what did I tell you? She's a sensible woman. Messed up in your ass. On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. Zachary's bedroom is on the right. On the left, a small office. Inside the office, we'll find a lawyer and a bodyguard. The bodyguard goes to a window. We go inside the room and pacify him. Take the pistol. We hide the body in a nearby trunk. We shall now lure the lawyer away from the laptop and convince him to donate his clothes. Okay. The hell was that noise? Okay, now come on. In the trunk he goes. Naked he will be. We complete the challenge justice for a prize. Now we investigate the laptop and complete the challenge, Don't Kill the Messenger. This all confirms that Arthur Edwards stole everything from Madame Carlyle. Perhaps you should let her know how bad it is, 47. Perhaps I should. We wait here for Madame Carlyle. She will come. It's part of her routine. What's the verdict, Mr. Ford? Undoubtedly, some of my assets must be safe. No. Everything is gone. Not Thornbridge Manor, surely. That too. But that's not possible. I'll kill him, I swear, if it's the last thing I do. Thank you, Mr. Ford. That will be all. Upset, Madame Carlyle goes to the open window. The bodyguard won't be able to keep an eye on her while she's over there. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Yes, but first, we take care of the bodyguard. We don't want him to find Madame Carlyle's body. Disguised as a bodyguard, 47 will be able to go inside Alexa's office unimpeded. Oh, great uniform. Push the armchair button to reveal the safe. Peculiar icons above the safe. The code is 1975. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. 
Mission complete. Well done, 47. Before exiting the mission, we shall complete the challenge Voyeurism. Zachary's bedroom is on the right. We go left to the end of the corridor. Those are the silhouettes of a bodyguard and a maid who are flirting. We are going to take a photo of them. But there's a problem. They will stop flirting immediately if they see anyone lurking around. We have to find a spot where those two cannot see 47 while he is taking the photo. Follow me. On our left is the stairway to the library. We glue 47 to the wall here. Let's do this. We exit the mission via the hearse. Follow me. This is Patrick talking to Madame Carlyle's daughter. Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent that one. Take the key. The hearse is right here. Now I say goodbye. And until next time, don't forget to have fun. <laughs>